Hello friends and welcome to a brand new speed test between the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Note 5. Of course, I know that the S23 Ultra is much more powerful compared to the Note 5 but it is always interesting to see the progress Samsung has made during all these years. As per usual we start this comparison with a boot up test and while they do that let me just remind you that the S23 Ultra is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip for Galaxy while the Note 5 is powered by the Exynos 7420. As expected, the S23 Ultra boots up first while, as you can see, the Note takes a lot more time to do the same task. Both devices are now ready to go and first we are going to open the settings. Here the S23 Ultra takes the first point and even when going into the display section it is faster. Next is Play Store and once again the Ultra is faster. Let's leave them here so we can test their RAM later. Next is YouTube and the Ultra is faster just like earlier. I'll just leave them at these random videos. Google Maps is next in our list and even though the Ultra is faster the Note 5 isn't far behind. With satellite both are identical. With flash score the S23 Ultra is faster. Now I want to leave them at the Premier League table and see if they will be at this page later. Let's try some games now and first in our list is Ball Blast. As you can see the Ultra is now ready while the Note takes a couple of seconds more to load the game. With Subway Surfers we have the same results. We can play the game on the Ultra while the Note is still loading. The next game in our list is Temple Run 2 and just like with every test so far, the S23 Ultra is much faster than the Note 5 which takes a long time to load. The last game in our list is Hill Climb Racing 2 and unsurprisingly the S23 Ultra wins even here. After more than 10 seconds, the Note is finally able to load the game. After finishing the games, we will now open Samsung's official internet browser and just as expected the S23 Ultra is the first to load the page. Now the last app in our list is Geekbench 5. For this test I am not using Geekbench 6 because the Note 5 doesn't even support it. Let's run the CPU test and see the results. The S23 Ultra finishes the test while the Note is at 34%. Finally, many minutes later the Note 5 finishes the test with a score much lower compared to the S23 Ultra. Honestly it is insane to think that we have this big of a gap in performance. After finishing the first round we will now do the RAM management test. Settings has gone back to the main page on both phones.
Play Store is surprisingly kept opened on both devices. YouTube however has been reloaded on the Note while it is just as we left it on the S23 Ultra. Maps on the other hand has been kept ready on both phones even though the Note took more time to display the app. Flash score is also ready on the Ultra while it's kind of is reloading on the Note but it ends up at the Premier League table. With games it is a totally different story. As you can see Ball Blast is ready on the Ultra while it has been reloaded on the Note 5. We have the same results even with Subway Surfers and while the Ultra is doing great the Note is struggling to keep up. We have identical results even with Temple Run 2 but considering that the Note 5 is almost an 8 year old device this isn't a big deal. We should also consider the fact that the Note has only 4GB of RAM while the S23 Ultra has 12 that's why we have a difference this big. With the internet browser the Ultra has kept the page open while the Note has reloaded it but it quickly displays the results. Lastly Geekbench 5 is ready on the Ultra but it crashes on the Note 5 once again confirming the difference between these phones. So, guys what you think? Let me know in the comments section below if you want me to test the S23 Ultra with some older devices. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.